Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of All Scoring No Defense, the best sports channel. And on this episode, I'm going to talk about how the New York Knicks were able to defeat the Boston Celtics. Let's get into it. Okay, if you watched like I did last night, you saw the New York Knicks defeat the Boston Celtics. And in this game, Julius Randle was sensational. Sensational. Yeah, th scoring 35 points, and he made it look easy. Did you guys see how big this man looked? Golly, it looked like somebody done been in the weight room, for real, for real. And... With this New York team, with this New York Knicks team, they're at a whole nother level when RJ Barrett is playing RJ Barrett's game. What do I mean by this? When he's not thinking too much and when he's letting the game come to him, because last night he scored 19 points and he came on in that second half. In that second half, he looked like a whole nother player. He was shooting that three ball with confidence and he was driving into the lane like it was easy and he didn't fear anything. That's the RJ Barrett that I want to see and that I'm pretty sure New York Knicks fans want to see as well. Another player who contributed, Evan Fournier, in his Knicks debut, he scored 32 points and he made it look easy. And that was something that the New York Knicks needed, perimeter shooting, because last year in the playoffs, that's why they were able to get, that's why they were bounced out by the Atlanta Hawks, because they didn't have perimeter shooting. But now since they added key contributors such as Evan Fournier and Kimba Walker, that's going to serve this team well, especially in the later portion of the season, like around playoff time, when the paint starts to get collapsed and you have to knock down jump shots. And for the Boston Celtics, Jalen Brown came to play. He scored 46 points, and he made it look easy. But his running mate, Jason Tatum, he only had 20. And like I said about Jason Tatum, he settles. And in this game, he settled for a lot of wide open threes as opposed to getting inside. Tatum has a great NBA body. Standing 6'8 and swole? Man, he has to learn to... I don't want to say this. He has to learn to switch it up. You got to learn You got to learn when to take the shot and when to drive it into the lane. But that's all for this episode. Be sure to subscribe or follow for more. And I'm out.